everybody. I My hair is still drying from my shower and my bangs are all kinds of crazy. I didn't plan on recording this video right now, but here we are. I got my book in the mail. I always forget to cover up my address. I got my book in the mail. If you watched my latest video, I can link it in the cards. I don't ever remember which side it's going to be on, but I finished the second draft of Project Dragon and if you have been around since last year, it's been almost a year since I did this, but I got my first draft of my book printed out. Oh, so if you were here, back it was back in May. I checked yesterday because I got the I got the notification that this was going to be delivered. I got the first draft of Project Dragon printed into like a bounded book style and I put like unedited proof draft one on the back of it. You can do this through Barnes & Noble or KDP. I do it through Barnes & Noble because then you don't get that ugly not for resale band across the front of the book and I just put in the back of the book unedited proof draft one and it's just for my eyes only. So I don't really plan on anybody else looking at this. I mean like my grandma and my boyfriend have looked through it but I don't plan on selling this draft and you can specifically set them as books personally for you on Barnes and Noble and then you don't have to then go through and fill out the information for like how much you would sell it for and stuff. Anyways, moving on to that, this then transfers to what this is. This is draft two printed off into a book form. I am excited to see this because I added a, um, over 10,000 words to this draft and it was, it's an um, slightly longer than that one, but, oh, you, oh, you can't even see the spine because the packing slips in the way. I made a new cover for this one, too. My cover concept in my head has kind of changed a little bit, and, yeah. Oh my god, I can see the spine. Oh, it's kind of off-printed. Can you see the spine? Is my packing, my packing slip, BarnesandNoblePress.com. I can link it in the description if you want to go through and print off the draft of your book. Oh my god! Oh, the cover's bent a little bit. Oh, that's okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Cardboard for the cats. Oh, Project Dragon! Draft 2! Man, this cover looks better than the other cover. This one's smaller than this one? I guess I didn't realize that I made one smaller than the other one. I thought they were the same size. Anyways, this is my cover. I just, uh, on Canva again, I found this picture of a castle and I just kind of spread it so like the whole picture goes across what the cover is and then you can see it. I put a dragon in the sky because Project Dragon. The spine's a little crooked. My name's a little odd, but this one is thicker than this one, but I can't really compare too much since they're different trim sizes and I didn't mean for that to happen, but oh well. Project Dragon. I was really surprised because uh, last time, it took like two weeks for this one to come in because of COVID and everything. Their printing times for proof copies and personal books, they have it specifically labeled at the top of their website that their shipping times are late and to not expect it for two to four weeks. I put in the order for this last week and it's here already. So that was kind of surprising. But yeah, look at it. It's a printed copy of my book. I made the font smaller. In this one, in this one, I went back through and looked at the formatted version of this book and my font accidentally transferred over to 13 or 14 point font instead of 12 like I wanted it to. So this is 12 point font and I made the gutter slightly bigger so it comes out a little bit more. My pages must have been slightly off because my name in Project Dragons in the corner instead of on the sides like I wanted it to be but that's okay. This is 223 pages, and it's like 50 
7,000 words or something like that. I can put that actual word count of it on the screen. My trim size is 5, uh, oh fuck, what's my trim size? Oh, my trim size is 5.5 by 8.25. So that's the size that this book is. I will have, I don't know what size this one is, I guess. I think I, it's obviously slightly bigger than this one. I like the size of this one better. I like the smaller, compact size, mainly just because it makes it the book thicker, but also just because I like smaller books in general. I think I, I'm the type of person who likes to carry books around like my purse and stuff, so the smaller the better because then I can actually like fit them inside my bag. But yeah, I got my printed copy of my book for draft two. Here we are. Unedited proof draft two. <laughs> I am planning on going through and reading it like I did last time and making notes. Like here, in this one, I like delete this chapter. I just went through and made little notes to of things I wanted to fix inside the book. And then I also noted chapter by chapter in my Project Dragon notebook. Like this chapter one, chapter two. Yeah, so I plan on going back and reading this and doing notes again so I can get ready for draft three. I already have a list of notes that I've been making. Let's see. Throw that guy up. Here we go. Draft three notes. So I already have a list that I've made that goes on to the back of things that I want to do for draft three. The biggest thing that's probably going to be happening in draft three is I'm going to be rewriting the ending because I, I discovered in this while doing this draft that the ending just wasn't wasn't hit, hidden in the way that I wanted it to. So I will be rewriting the ending of this book, beefing her up more. I I know that part of the reason why it's still so small for being a fantasy book is because. I'm missing a lot of description. I haven't described a lot of my locations, but that's mainly because I'm trying to just get the story out, I'm trying to get the story down and really like solidify all of like the scenes and the thoughts and everything. And then I'm planning on going back in and adding all the description once I have that down. So I'm not trying to focus on multiple things at once. And I know that one of the tips that I read, did I read it somewhere? Or did I see it on YouTube? One of the tips that I saw was that if you can still see things that are wrong with your book, then it's not ready for beta readers. So I can still see, see things that are wrong with my book without having to have someone read it. So I'm going to be doing draft three. Hopefully after draft three, I can probably give it to a couple people in my family to read to give me feedback. And then after that, I will be on to the beta read around of random people I don't know. But yeah, Project Dragon. I got the glossy cover because I got the glossy cover last time. But just in my experience, from feeling the matte books from like Shadow Crown. I don't like the matte. You can see your fingerprints all over it and it doesn't, I don't like it. I think the glossy is like just nice and pretty. Look, it's so pretty. Glossy, glossy, glossy. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like these, please give it a thumbs up. If you're enjoying seeing my journey of working through my book, I thought I just think that it would be cool to print one of these off each draft to edit and then I can have them like on my shelf of like each draft of Project Dragon. Oh, I got two. Two drafts. Bam. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. I mean in the future if you ever want I could show you how I format my books in Word. It's not too hard. That's the end of this video <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!